In today's video, we will be visiting a lovely English village with a dramatic limestone gorge and endless countryside views in the Peak District of Derbyshire. This is Castleton. Castleton is a village located in the Hope Valley of the Peak District National Park in Derbyshire, England. The village is best to access by driving your own private vehicle, but you can also use public transportation, such as bus from Sheffield or railway, with the nearest station at Hope, which is 2.5 miles to the east of Castleton. There is a car park near the visitor's center office and payment is depending on the duration of your stay at Castleton. You can find the different parking fees through the website of High Peak Borough Council. At the time of our visit, only cash was accepted and no change given. So make sure that you take the exact amount of money with you. I recommend going to Castleton early to secure parking space, especially during weekends and bank holidays. The village is small and can be very busy at times. It is best to explore on foot as there are some alleyways to walk through, leading to some attractions such as the Feverel Castle and Peak Cavern Cave. Most buildings in the village are mainly stone cottages, depicting that the area is rich in great stone and carboniferous limestone with some traces of Normandy architecture and blends well with the mountainous backdrop. The south of the village is the Old Marketplace, which has a small green with some seating, war memorial and Saxon stone cross. It is from here that you can gain access to Feverel Castle. However, we were so early that it wasn't yet open, so we decided to explore more of the village. Close to the marketplace is St. Edmund's Church. The church is dedicated to St. Edmund, King of East Anglia, who was martyred after his defeat by the Danes in 869. The great to listed parish church dates from the 12th century with some 14th century elements and was restored in 1837. The main roads through the village are Cross Street and Howe Lane and it is here that you will find the majority of shops and pubs. Opposite the bus station is Feverell Stores, which offers local produce and made-to-order sandwiches. The Peak and Ye Old Cheshire Cheese Inn, both are pubs with accommodation, are nearby to each other and have 17th century architecture. From the small cluster shops opposite the visitor center, there is a small footpath along the stream of Peak's Hole Water, which flows through the village to join the River New. There was once a corn mill which used the stream to power a water wheel, although this only survived until the 1950s. These days, the mill pond is enjoyed by the local ducks. There are a couple of small shops which sell antiques and gifts on the street called The Stones before we cross a bridge and continue up along the stream past some nice stone cottages. We then reach the source of pixel water, the Peak Cavern, also known as Devil's Arts. It is one of the four show caves in Castleton. The others being Sweetwell, Blue Jan, and Drake Cliff. The cave system is the largest in the Peak District 
and the main entrance to the cavern is the largest in Britain. Indeed, it is used to host events such as pop-up cinemas and musical concerts. Another attraction to see in Castleton is the Winnet Spars. But before I show you the clips about it, I would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for all their continued support and appreciation. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. Along with the village, caverns and nearby walks, the other notable reason to visit Castleton is to see Winnet Spas. From the village, this is a 5 to 10 minute walk to the west along the main road. The way is easy to follow and along a pavement and you will see the hill of Mam Tour to the right, which is a popular attraction for walkers. And one day, we hope to take the 5.5 mile circular walk across the valley which takes in Mam Tour and Holland's Cross. Speedwell Coven sits at the base of Winnet's Pass and from the car park, there are a couple of ways to explore the pass. The most direct way is to walk along the grassy path through the pass itself. You will see that the area is owned by the National Trust and lies within the High Speak Estate. The area is owned by the National Trust and includes such places as Derwin Edge, Mumtur, Snake Pass and Kinder Scout. The area of Winnats Pass is made of limestone and was once under a tropical sea. Hence, the limestone contains many fossils of sea creatures which lived there over 350 million years ago. Due to this history, the site is protected by law as a site of special scientific interest. Therefore, rocks and plants must not be removed. Because we had arrived early and had plenty of time to explore the area, we decided to take a walk along the side of the valley to see the views around the other side. From the car park at Speedwell Cavern, we took the signposted public booth path up past Three Cliff Cavern, and indeed there were nice views over Hope Valley and Mum Walking along the top of the hills, we came across the top of the pass and enjoyed the views down into the valley. We then made our way down into the pass and walked back along the grassy path. Winnet's Pass is truly a nature wonder. In fact, its name is derived from wind gates due to the winds that can blow through it and was formed by melting glaciers wearing away the rock. This caused the limestone to dissolve and streams to flow through cracks and fissures. One of these streams would have created a large cave system which eventually collapsed, producing the steep side valley. Winnet's Pass was the scene of an important piece of history for people who enjoy roaming the countryside. In 1932, 10,000 rumblers assembled here for an access rally to protest for the right to roam on Britain's mountains and moors. This was a few weeks after the famous mass trespass protest at nearby Kinderscott. This protest led to the passage of the National Parks legislation in 1947. The Peak District was the first UK national park and helped to establish long-distance footpaths such as the Pennine Way. charming village and scenic landscape, Castleton is definitely worth visiting when in the Peak District of Derbyshire. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more getaways with Noel. Thank you for watching.